Camacho. We'll look at the band afterward, but typical Camacho band sideways, of course, because it's rubbed this way. Sideway Camacho band. You know, I kind of like it because I tend to take picture of a cigar this way, which is funny because handmade in Honduras, but this is Camacho Nicaragua. It's creamy, it's spicy. All at the retro hill though. Like if you if you just take a puff, it's not gonna get you a lot. But if you retro hill, you get get this burning, creamy smoke that goes right through your nostril. Hey guys, Tony the Soy Stars Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And this is a funny one because uh, recently I've been cleaning and I found that I actually have one box of this that I smoked a while back and I probably reviewed it on the live show but hasn't visited since. So this time we'll revisit this because I literally don't remember. I, I don't even remember I had this box of cigar. Like, uh, I don't remember I bought it. I don't remember what I did with it. I found it, and I still have, like, half box left. So, let's talk about this, all right? Camacho Nicaragua Robusto size. All right? So, we have a reflection in my room. Anyways, um, that's how it looks like. Dusty, you can see. Very, very dusty. It's been sitting out for a while. So, orange box, very, very cool because... They usually do a lacquer, beautiful color, you know, Candelica is green and, uh, and, you know, Connecticut is yellow and so on. So this is orange box. And I feel like it's a good precursor to my other Camacho review because um, I think they just came out with a new one. And I have to go look into that. So inside, very typical fashion description, orange, nice, blah. And inside you got, see? I got that much left, and I was like, when did I smoke this? So, let me grab one. Mm, based on that, the fact that I can press it, it's good humidity. All right, so. 20 cigars, handmade, Honduras. Which is funny, because handmade in Honduras, but this is Camacho, Nicaragua. Yeah. I guess so. All right, so let's get looking into the cigar. Okay. So let's uh, get to the cigar. As you can see, I'm kind of disorganized today. I lost power today, and um, right now it's very late at night, very late. Like, I can almost say good morning. That's how late it is. Oh, it smells pretty good. Mm. Smell kind of sweet, peppery, and like roast nuts, roasted peanut. Not bad, not bad. So this particular one is, it's kind of weird because they call this Nicaragua, but the wrapper is Ecuadorian. The binder is Honduras. And the fillers, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Dominican. So this really is not Nicaraguan. It's, it's a mutt, you know? So I don't know. Why would you call it Nicaraguan when there's like all the other one in there, right? So this is 5 by 52 and MSRP is $8.60-ish. Okay, it's kind of light. Everybody's sleeping. I'm here smoking cigar. Yep. Dry draw. Leathery. Leathery and spicy. Of 
course, if you get a pizza in your mouth, it'll be very spicy. Light it up. Okay. Leather, dirt, pepper, spicy. Some sort of fruitiness, kinda, but it kind of goes away really quickly. Oh, it's heavy. The black pepper and chili pepper, it kind of lingers on your tongue. It lingers and it's burning. This little bit of like hay, grassiness kind of, um, not very woodsy. It's just that hay, grain kind of taste. And like, you know, barnyard, farmish taste. It's somewhere at the medium strain range too. And a weird paper box taste. It goes away though. It goes away really quickly. Yeah. Like it's I think it's very confused cigar. I don't know what I said last time, but this time I definitely think it's a very confused cigar goes all over the place it's not really Nicaraguan you know it's a it's a it's a mixture of things that try to be something right now when you have Ecuadorian you have Honduras it's supposed to go towards the sweeter side right but it's not right it didn't get there and I don't touch taste of the woodsiness but it's also not giving me that dark cocoa espresso kind of taste from that Nicaraguan stuff either or dark chocolate that kind of stuff and it's giving me this really weird fruity sweetness at the nose but nowhere else so like what are you trying to be Camacho you gotta figure out you cannot be one of those confused person goes around and says I want to let to identify myself as Nicaraguan but um I'm gonna look like a Honduran and walk like Ecuadorian and sing like Egyptian. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. But yeah, let me smoke through one third. We'll see if it finds its identity. And, you know, and it will get a good look. But yeah, typical. Camacho. We'll look at the band afterward, but I'm kind of um, like I said, disorganized today. I want to make sure I get all these little shots for you guys, so you guys can get get a good look at the cigar. Um, you know, I've been saying that cigar feels short. This one doesn't feel that short, so it might be just today. Did my hand get smaller? I don't know. So we'll be right back after one third. Okay, so one third, uh, the flavor gets woodsy as they move forward, and then it gets a little bit creamy, but it's still confused. 
It's not like what it's supposed to be. It's confused. It has no idea what it is. It's trying to get you all the flavor, but you know, it's it's not a straight shooter. It doesn't. It's like a person wants to like think of this way. Right? So someone want to borrow money from you, but they don't want to tell you. They're like, yeah, I've been really poor lately. Yeah, I have a lot of bills. Yeah, I have a lot of issues lately. I really need money. Only if somebody will loan me that money. It's like that, right? It's try to say, yeah, I got this flavor. I might have that flavor too. And maybe have that flavor as well. But, you know, I, I could give you this flavor. But I'm confused, so I don't want to give it to you. And it's like, you know, if, only if, you know, Blue Moon shows up, which is like weeks ago. Then I could have give you that flavor. So that's where it is right now. There is a little bit of like dark chocolate start to get through, but it's not perfect. So I, I don't know. Maybe it'll get better as it goes. Still a lot of pepper in the nose. Uh, still that black pepper burn on the tongue kind of went away. So like I'm this is one of the things that's like, okay, you already opened up my taste bud. You already tried, but where are we going with this? So, you know, Camacho, a little bit confused. We still keep going. Uh second, third, and then we take off the band and we'll go from there. Be right back. Okay, so second, third, the flavor starts to come through. It's creamy, it's spicy. All at the retro hill though. Like if you if you just take a puff, it's not gonna get you a lot. But if you retro hill, you gotta get this burning, creamy smoke that goes right through your nostril. With a little bit of roasted peanut. And kind of wraps up with a little bit of burn, like charred. Chocolate. So it's getting better. It's it, it, especially that barnyard and and earthiness kind of goes away. Now it's a very acceptable cigar. Now it actually tastes pretty good for like eight dollars and something. Yeah, it's it's not bad. It's not bad. Construction not bad. The draw is not bad. So far, it's doing a lot of good. All right, here, let me tap this off. Yep, I tapped it off, took another. You know, it's really weird because after that toasted peanut, you smell, you smell Chinese food. <laughs> I smell Chinese food. And I swear I did not have Chinese food today. I had an Italian sub today. So definitely not what I ate, but I smelled Chinese food at the end of that toasted peanut thing. Yeah, after it goes away, it's weird. It's weird. I don't know what's going on. But it's good. I just didn't like the amount of pepper that's burning my nose right now. You get it a lot. So if you like pepper, it's great. Like if you like burning cigar, it's great. But I don't know how much... I, I, I don't like how much it's burning my nose. But the rest of the flavor is good. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Okay, I will give you some good stuff, but you're going to have that pain. We got to burn your nose so you can enjoy the rest of the flavor. I don't know. It's like that. Okay. If I retrohale slowly, I get a little bit of that earthiness. But the flavor is still good. I just don't like the earthiness. I don't like dirt. Yeah. Just don't do it slowly. If you do it fast, you got you, you got to get that nose burn. And you got to get that creaminess. You got to get a toasted peanut. And a little bit of maybe chocolate. But you won't get that earthiness. But if you do it slowly, you got to get that earthiness. And you got to... It's less of that toasted peanut. I don't know. That that's how funny how that works, right? So yeah, 
where it is right now is good. Ooh, I just smell shit. Yeah, it's part of that. Yeah, don't do it slow. Do it fast. Yeah, do it fast. Do it fast. Ooh, do it fast. Do it fast is good. Fast is good. Fast is good. Not that any like any guy likes to be called, hey, you're fast. No. But typical Camacho band, sideways, of course, because it's wrapped this way. Sideway Camacho band. You know, I kind of like it because I tend to take picture of the cigar this way. So, you know, you get the words out there. You get the, uh, you know, I like how Camacho's band is very universal. Very standard. All right. You get any of the Camacho cigar. They put it right next to each other. You got to get the whole rainbow effect. But it's just overall good looking. I don't know. It's very simple cig uh, cigar band. Very, very simple, right? Very simple cigar band. But I, for some reason, I think the color they choose is just pleasing to the eyes. So I actually like this band, even though it's simple, simple, simple. In the back, Scorpion, of course. I like it. I like it. It has its down downfall, right? Where if you slow smoke it really slowly, you gotta get the bad notes. But me being someone that smokes really quickly, unless I slow down, and start talking, I'm not gonna have that issue, right? I'm not gonna have that issue. So I see the positive side. I see the negative side. The positive side, number one, is a regular price cigar. It's not expensive. Number two, it's got good flavor. Uh, if you smoke it a certain way, right? And number three. Burn construction is pretty good, you know, they have enough quality, really. And the downside, earthiness, heavy pepper. All right, so you got to pick and choose what you like most. For, not, for, for me right now, totally fine, totally fine. I'll deal with that, okay? So let me smoke through the last third. We'll go to summary. Be right back. Okay, last third. I can tell you that it took a negative downturn. Which means now all I'll get is leather, earth, maybe some hay. Pretty much it. So the best part is the second third. Last third. If you like that flavor, that's good. But for me, it's not good because I don't like that flavor. With this, the strain went from medium to medium plus, maybe almost full. So for that strength and this flavor, I don't think you get the balance that you're getting. You know, you didn't get the best bang for the buck. You didn't get what you deserve. So, you know, $8 something is not too bad. I'll give $8.50, $8.60 for this uh, cigar. No problem with that because it's, it's, it's like a standard price for a premium cigar. So... I can give it to I can give that. But you, you really have to like that earthy taste. You really like the the uh, you know the leathery taste. There's not a lot of woodsiness in here. There's not a lot. So you're not gonna get that if you like the cedar and all that stuff. I don't think the Honduras tobacco shine anywhere at all. The Ecuadorian tobacco, yeah, it's there. Nicaraguan. No, I don't even know why you're calling the Nicaragua. So it's it's a confused cigar. But if you like confused cigar and that has all three transition, there is enough transition in here that will get you keep you interested. But you have to like those flavors. You have to like those flavors to to keep you interested. Because if you don't, when you smoke to the last third. You're like, I don't really like that flavor. I don't know if I want to keep going. All right? And and then in that case, you might as well get an even smaller size. But I think the smaller size is, is Robusto. I'm not too sure. So, yeah, $8 something as a premium cigar. I will give it to you. Um, is it going to be my everyday cigar? No. No. Um, is there a better cigar out there for $8 range? Yes. Yes. But... Do I regret buying it? Not really. I think I I I, I think that was set in my humidor. Probably why the reason I put it away is because uh, I didn't like the last third. I didn't like the first third that much, and I put it away just in case one of my friend like earthy taste like really peppery cigar. This will be for them, but for me, 
I don't think I don't think it does justice. I don't think it does what I like. Right? So it does something just there. If you like leathery, you like pepper, you like earthy cigars, you're gonna like it a lot. And I think pretty much everybody liked the the the, the flavor that will come with the second there. So yeah, it's a good cigar if you like those cigars. So if you like earthy cigar, that's for you. If you don't like it, I I will say don't don't get it because you 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 gotta you gotta find out you you smoked it and you're halfway through you're like oh this is not bad and then all of a sudden gets it last third you're like ah I don't really like it right so you know it's up to the person who's smoking it to really decide whether or not the cigar is for you or not I don't think it's a bad cigar I just think the flavor isn't for me okay so yeah I would recommend it to people who like leathery earthy. If you just like the Honduras flavor that usually came from a Davidoff cigar, Camacho, Avo, then it might not. But if you like the other flavor, such as, I don't know, some Gurkhas, some of the really earthy cigars, you'll like it. So it is what it is. It is what it is, okay? So that's it for this cigar review. I hope you like the cigar review. If you like it, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If you don't, well, as always, better cigars. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.